let's talk about middle school olympiads hello everyone my name is Ashwani Dashgupta I am a faculty and researcher at chinta.com in this video we will talk about students from grade 6 to 8 in the middle school what are the olympiad opportunities for them the mathematical olympiad opportunities and what books they should follow and what are the preparation and learning strategies so the first let's let me tell you a little bit about the key mathematical contests at this level six to eight the most highly recommended contest at this level is amc8 american math competition 8 it is uh, conducted by the mathematical association of america the problems are really nice it's sort of a practice contest before the real AMCs, the AMC 10, 12 kicks in. Uh, students can take it if you are in a, in, in a Chinta Mathematical Olympiad program. You can take it after attending level 4 Math Olympiad program or level 5 Math Olympiad program. So there are two years of preparation for that. So after AMC 8 comes the Indian contest of NMTC. NMTC is an excellent organization mathematical teachers organization and they conduct contests from gauss level so that's for middle school and then goes up to kaprekar and other there are other divisions of that contest so nmtc contests are really nice the problems are really good exciting and thought provoking in nature so these are the two main contests that we recommend apart from that of course there are three other things which are suggested but not recommended these are university of waterloo contests conducted by cmc it is recommended for students in canada and other places as well the other one is math counts if you are in us it's applicable for you math counts is an excellent contest and then comes the ukmt junior this is for united kingdom students uh, it's an excellent contest, the first level of mathematical Olymp Olympiads in United Kingdom. So, these are the five contests that you should be focusing on. AMC 8, NMTC, University of Waterloo, Math Counts, and UKMT. Of course, some of these contests are region specific, but others can be attended by anyone all around the world. If you are an existing Chinta student, your admin your personal admin will be helping you to figure out the deadlines of these contests and the registration pages and so on so if you want more information on that please go ahead and ask your admin in your personalized whatsapp group okay so now comes the preparation and learning strategy it's very important to understand that there are two components of the preparation strategy the first component is foundational theoretical in nature. So, for example, in this component, you should be learning how to write rigorous proofs of geometric statements. You should learn how different formulas actually work. Not just the formula, not the statement of Pythagoras theorem, not just the quadratic formula, but actually how the formulas work. That will create a strong foundation. It's very important that you do it. That's the theoretical part, that's the foundation part. And the second part is problem solving. So what you do is, apart from doing the regular theoretical work, you also solve a mixed bag of problems which have come in different mathematical contests. If this is the reason why Chinta's lesson plan has these two components in these levels, level four and five. The first component is more of conceptual theoretical in nature. The second component is a mixed bag of problems drawn from different Olympiads. So make sure you do both of these things when you are preparing in the middle school level for mathematical contests. The main goal should be to fall in love with the subject, to solve great problems, to think about why a problem is built in a certain way. So that's the preparation and learning strategy. Two things that you have to do. Make sure you do them. Finally, let me talk to you about the books. These are very important. 
we suggest three books at this level there are many 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 beautiful books but it's very important that you select a few of them and you complete them cover to cover so the first one is the mathematical circles russian experience by foman it's an excellent book Math mathematical circles i have talked about it many times they were a standard practice in eastern europe and russia many great mathematicians were born out of that process chinta also conducts mathematical circles internally and with rural schools so it's a very very well built practice and this book mathematical circles by foman was created out of these mathematical circles and they contain excellent olympiad grade problems discussions and teaching strategies that's number 1 the second book that i would recommend is the book of algebra the title of the book is algebra this is by gelfand and there is one more author so i'll put the names in the description actually gelfand is one of the greatest mathematicians of the previous century and it does not happen every time that a great mathematician is writing books for little kids this is one such exceptional scenario and uh, this book therefore contains a lot of insights from the mind of a great mathematician it's not just another book on algebra it does not promote low rote learning it makes you think it's an excellent book algebra by gelfand and there is one more author uh, see the link in the description for more detail and the third book is on geometry is by kiselev it's a russian book or a soviet book planimetry the title of the book is planimetry it's it's an excellent title again it was a standard book used in soviet union and we use it till date the problems are very interesting and there are a lot of sort of uh, construction oriented problems in this book so it makes you do geometry instead of just thinking about it so that's excellent is one other feature of this book by kislev is that he actually goes into the depth of the theory as well he does not shy away from that he does not just give you the formulas or just the results he tells you why it works so that's an excellent book so three books foman kislev and gelfand so these are the three great books to focus on don't worry about too many other materials especially nowadays internet is available so much material is available out there but the key idea is to focus on few of them and completely co absorb their material so it's not a great idea to beat around 10000 books and not learn at any of them cover to cover instead of that focus on two or three of them and finish them cover to cover okay so i hope this was helpful and uh, keep on doing great mathematics i will see you in the next video thank you bye